What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustMertech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class we're going to create a program. This is not going to be your ordinary class. We're going to create a program and the program we're going to create is going to ask the user to enter a number, then it's going to ask the user to enter another number and then the program is going to add those two numbers together and display the results on the screen. Now the reason I'm doing this, I thought it would be fun and a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do a tutorial on how to create a program. So here we go now let's uh, maximize this here the first thing we're going to need to do is create the shell of the program so we're going to do dot model space small right then hit it space a few times we're going to do the dot data right this is the data section hit space a few times we're going to do dot code right hit enter hit tab main hit space p r o c hit enter a few times backslash and p we're going to end the main method here then we're going to end the program with this end main, right? All right, so this is the shell of the program right now, right? So in this dot data section here, this is where we're going to declare all our variables. And I'm going to declare a few variables that I'm going to use to display messages or strings on the screen. Now, the first one I'm going to call message. So M-E-S-S-A-G-E. -S -S -E. I'm going to hit space. I'm going to give it a data type. I'm going to give it a DB data type. I'm going to hit space. We got to use this open and close parentheses, right? Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type a message. And I want to type out enter a number, right? Hit, and I'm going to hit space. Now the space is a character too. Now if we don't add this space, everything that the program would add to the, to the console will be clumped together. So it will, it will look funny. So remember, so remember, a space is a character. So after the space, we're going to enter this dollar symbol. Now, this dollar symbol is important. If you don't enter this, then the program doesn't know when to end the string. So we have to have that at the end of the string here. And inside the string, we need this set of double quotes here. So that's our first message. Now, our second message here, I'm going to call message two. So M-E-S-S-A-G-E, -S -S -E, number two. This is a variable re declaring, and it's going to have a DB data type again. I'm going to hit space two double quotes, a set of double quotes, right? Now inside the set of double quotes, we're gonna type in another message. Now I'm gonna type in space first, because remember space is a character and I don't want all this to clump together. Then I wanna type in enter a, another, no, oh, you and another number, right? And then I'm gonna hit B between here. Then I'm going to hit space. Remember, space is a character. Then we're going to end this with this dollar symbol here. Now we have two messages, and, and we declared a variable, and these are our messages, and they are strings. Now we're going to create another message, right? And I'm going to call this one message three. Let's go back here. So M E S S A G double S A G E. I want to type in three. So this is message three. It's going to be a data byte. I want to hit space. We need a set of double quotes, right? Inside a set of double quotes, I want to type in space again. Then I want to type in this equal symbol. Then I want to type in space again. So basically, as you can see, it's going to enter. It's going to prompt the user to enter a number. Then uh, we're going to put in some code so uh, it accepts a character from the user. Once we read that character, it's going to uh, print out again. Enter another number, right? Then we're going to have a space. Then it, then it, we're going to accept another string. Then in the program, it's going to add those two numbers together. Then then it's going to display this equal symbol. Remember, we want spaces between this equal symbol because otherwise the, the program will clump all this together, right? Then after that, I'm sorry, this should be a plus symbol because we're adding. So this is going to be a plus symbol first. And then now we're going to create the equal symbol. So this, that's going to be message four. Four, we can hit space. It's going to be a data byte again. Hit space, open and close parentheses. Again, I forgot to add this uh, dollar symbol at the end of this. Remember, it's very, very important that you add the dollar symbol or else the program will not know that the string has ended or the, that the variable has ended. So again, we're going to type in a message. I'm going to hit space, then this equal symbol here in space again. So again, from the top, the program is going to prompt the user to enter a number, right? Then the program will uh, request a number, will enter a number, it'll be saved in the program. Then uh, it's going to prompt the user to enter another number. We'll enter a number, it'll get saved in the program, right? So then it's going to print out, uh, then I'm going to have it, the, the program print out the two numbers, right? Then in between the two numbers, this plus symbol, then at the end of this two numbers, this equal symbol, then it's going to print out the results. 
So we got our four uh, variables here. These are our four strings. So let's type the code first. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we've got to print out this first string on the screen, right? To do that, we're going to use the print string code. Now, just follow along. Now, the first thing we need to do is move into AX, right? The segment SEG of message, our first string we want to print out. So M E S S A G E, right? So that's now we're going to move into DS AX. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we can't directly send the segment message to DS, and we're going to need DS as the first part of our string. So now the first part is done, right? Now the second part, we're going to have to enter down here. And the second part, we're going to need to move into DX. And then we're going to move into DX to offset of our variable message here. So we can type in M-E-S-S-A-G-E, -S -S -E, right? Then we're going to hit enter. That now we're going to use the print string code. So move into A-H, then 9-H, right? So it's going to print out our string on the, on the screen here. So to, to initialize it, we're going to have to type in I and T hit space 21H. That's just like the code for do it. It initializes everything. So this here prints uh, a string on the screen. And here we're going to just copy this later on. And we're just going to change our, our variables to save time. But if you guys want to learn how to print strings on the screen, this is how you do it here. So now we're going to type in the character input code. We want the user to enter a character, right? So we're going to type in MOV, hit space, and we're going to move into AH, uh, 1H. And this is the code for print, or this is actually, actually, this is the code for read character, I'm sorry. So then we're going to hit enter, right? So very important, whatever the user enters is going to get stored in AL. So I'll just type that here, stored in AL. So type in in put stored in al okay so now so now we, we we've uh we have our input and it's stored in al so now the next thing i want to do is i want to move that first input into a new register so we're going to move into bl right because bl is going to store our first uh, input and we're going to move al because al has our input right now and because we're going to need to reuse al again so that's why we're moving it to bl for safekeeping now, right? So we're moving into BLAL just to store our first input. Now we gotta print out another uh, message here, our second message. And, and the second message is prompting the user to enter another number. So we don't have to retype this. We're just gonna copy this part, first part here, right? This is the print string. And we're gonna paste it under here. Then we're just gonna change this to a message two. That's all we have to do. All right, so now it's going to print out the message two on the screen. Now we need some input from the user again. Now we need our second input. So again, I'm just going to copy this here. Remember, everything gets stored into AL. We, re we already we already moved our input into BL, so it's it's safe. So now we're just going to copy this input code here and paste it down here. We're going to do the same thing. Now we're, we're asking the user to enter a second number, right? Now we're going to move the second number into CL, another register, because remember, it gets stored in AL automatically. So we're going to move into CL, AL, so it gets stored. Okay. Now we're going to print out our first uh, input, right? And to do that, we're going to use the print character code. And this is how the print character code goes. We move into DL, whatever we want, we want to print out on the screen. And I want to print out the value of BL, because BL and CL they hold our uh, input, right? So the first one is BL. So we're going to type in BL here. So now we're moving into DLBL. Now we're going to do the code here. We're going to uh, move into AH 2H. And this is the code for print character. Now we're going to do INT 21H to initialize it, right? So again, now we're printing out our first character here, which which is actually the first input. Now we need to uh, print out this plus symbol here because it's going to be our first number we entered. We're just printing it back out to the to the user. Whatever they entered is being printed out. Now we're going to print out this plus symbol back to them. To do that, we're going to copy this code here again. This is the print string uh, code, and we're just going to paste it under here. So I'm going to paste it here. 
right? And all we have to do is change the message. Now the plus is gonna be message three. So I'm just gonna add a three to the end of this here. So now we printed out this plus symbol. Now we have our first input and the plus symbol. Now we need our second input. To do that, we're gonna copy this here. And I'm going to enter it down here. Now we're printing back our second input. And our second input is in seal. Remember that we saved it in seal. So BL has our first input and seal had our second. So that's why we're moving into DL so it can get printed. And this is the print character code here. Move into AH, 2H, then INC 21H. Now it's going to print on the screen our third input. Now we want to uh, uh, type in this final message here, which is this equal symbol. So again, we got to um, copy this here. Paste it down here, and it's message for the equal symbol, right? So we're going to paste it under here. And we're going to type in message four, four. So now it's going to print out message four, and it's going to be this equal symbol here. So now, remember, BL and CL hold our two inputs, right? So now we got to do the math. But before we do the math, is whenever you uh, use this uh, input code here to input a, any type of character, it inputs it as a character. If you if you want to do math, you have to convert it into a decimal. Now, to convert it to a decimal, we have to first thing we got to do is uh, subtract, and we got to subtract uh, the reg our first register, which is BL, which stores our first input, right, by 30H. This will uh, convert it into decimal. Now we're going to do the same thing with our other register that holds our second uh, character. So now we're going to do the same thing with CL because CL holds our second input. So we're going to subtract. CL by 30H, right? So now we're going to do the math. We're going to add uh, BL with CL. So what, what's going to happen is they're going to add our two inputs together, right? We converted them into decimal. So it's going to add those two together, and the results are going to get stored in BL. So now the sum is going to be in BL. So now before we print out the sum, we got to do a few things. Now, uh, the, uh, remember, sum is in BL. Now we got to add into BL 30H back because we, we wanted to convert it back into a character. So it prints the character on the screen. So we added into BH 30H again. So now we're going to uh, print character. We're going to use the code for print character. And we're going to copy it from right here. This is the code for print character. And we're going to enter it under here, right? So we hit paste. So now. Uh, we want to move into DL, BL, because BL holds our sum of our uh, two inputs together, right? So now it's going to print that onto the screen. Right, so let's make sure everything's all right before I hit emulate. And uh, as you can see right here, I forgot to add this dollar symbol here at the end of this message five. Without this, the program will know that this is ending. So let's tr hit emulate up here. Let's hit run. So now it's asking us to enter a number. I want to enter two. So now it's asking us to enter another number. I'm going to enter two again. And as you can see, two plus two equals four. As easy as that. All right, if you guys are interested and you guys want to uh, try this out for yourself, I'm going to leave the source code in my website. So go to my website, rossmertech.com. Go to classes, assembly programming, and, and it should be the last class. Click on it, then you, you should be able to copy the source code from there. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.